Hello everyone, welcome back to part 61 of creating this watch in Santa Maya 2018. Um, today we're going to create the knob part that will go right here. Um, so let's get started. So I'm just going to save and go into my top view. And so I took a picture of it just like this in our um, reference here. And this will of course be uploaded to Imgur. But um, for now I just wanted to have it like that. So if I go over into here and unhide my top image plane and change this to I forgot if I said this was going to be on Imgur but yeah check, just check the description below if you want this exact image and I'm going to scale this down to match my reference so something like this something like that would be good just so, so just so I can match like that okay so I've looked at many different pictures and it looks like an interesting um, concept here so the knob itself seems to be in a few different pieces I'm just getting kind of laid out my house so I'm just gonna be a bit quieter um, so I'm just gonna select this Let's see can I select all of it Dang it, Maya. But it looks like there is a cylinder inside. Let's see if I can take that out at least. That goes... Let's see, I wonder if that would look smooth. Oh. Interesting. Anyways. Oh, I'm just going to bring that back down. So I'm going to take... Th I'm going to do that piece first. So I'm going to create a cylinder. And um, bring that all the way over to here. Just close my attribute, open my channel box. Rotate this negative or 90 degrees, I mean, and the rotate C, and you can kind of see it like right there, so I'll know when to stop. I also need to scale this to correct size, so like that is pretty good. Okay, and then the rest of it is a another cylinder, so. Actually, I can just duplicate this piece, and let's see, actually, I won't do that because we're going to need a lot more subdivisions, so I'm going to make a, another cylinder, and bring that over to here, and rotate that 90 degrees, and let's see, scale this out until it fits about there, and scale this down, so until it looks like like here. Alright, and I also need to give this way more subdivisions. Let's just see, if I do like 50, how will this look? So you need to know how many there are of that um, to match that. Per I'm actually going to count them, so give me a second. <laughs> Alright, so I actually counted each and every one of them. I found that, that there are 20 of those, and um, times 2, that means we need 56 um, subdivisions, so let's go and type that in. Okay, and then before we do that to the little design right there, um, we need to just finish extruding this thing, so I'm going to go to my top view here, and just take that. Did that work? No, whoops. Shift, like that, just so that, just that piece is selected, and then move that to like here. And also, I'm going to extrude this down to, let's see, like, there. Yeah. And, yeah, that should be not good enough, because we need to add a few in here, because, um, for the design that we have. So let's just do that. Alright, so this will look good. Um, and then another thing I also saw is that these need to definitely be pulled back to like here. 
because we will see those actually. Actually, I think like right here even. I don't know why it was so far up. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how this will look now. Press five to just look at this. Um. This can easily go up, so I need to move that away too. Hold down V and then snap that to see that should be like the middle of this entire thing. So like right here. I believe that is the middle. And then move this up to like here. Um, and then select, where is it? Here. And I'm going to hold down V and snap to there. And then move this back to like here. Okay, now what we need to do is, let's see, select, we need to make an edge loop here, and maybe a bit more up here, and select all as you can kind of see. So, let's see, I just need to go like that, and I believe we can make that easier if I click on that and then shift double click there. So now I need to do this for all of this. Whoops. Will be kind of time consuming, but. Um, what can I say? Why is that happening? Okay, this is really bugging me. But. Oh my god. You get the point. So I'll just select all of these and I'll be back. Alright, so I finished selecting every other one like that. And we also need to select this, I'm going to shift, and then click like that. And then, if I go over to here, as you can see, we just need to um, extrude these out. So, like that, and then I'm going to click on that, and then scale this out. Kind of like, let's see. I'm going to put those in like that. And then take a look. Okay. That does give me the desired look I want, except for the back here, which seems to be weird on just those specific corners. So I'm going to control 1 and see what I can do to fix this. And I believe this actually happened because of a bad one selected. Yeah, control 1. Don't want these guys selected. Okay, and the same for these, except Control Z, back to before that even happened, Control 1, and then deselect all of this, so just those are selected, press 5, Control 1, um, and then do the same thing, and then now it should do what I want. Let's see, just kind of push those forward. And do a quick like there. That way, these are a bit bigger than the ones inside. So now that gives me the um, design I want. And let's see, that goes to about up there. Same here. Now we need to create this. So to do that, I can just select that vertex, bevel it, take the face, make sure nothing else is selected. Um, and you can also see why, from this example right here, of why um, you don't want random things selected. And also, I want to click on this mesh display harden edge. There we go. That way, the faces are normal. And I'm going to scale this out to like here. And then bring it out forward. Just a tad bit. It actually goes up until where that stops. So. Or like here. Although it does seem to pull out, so let's see what I can do actually. Instead of doing this, what I can do instead is one, um, apply a new material to this. Whoops. So can't believe I forgot that. So let's give it just a nice pink. And don't forget this guy inside. So, maybe just a blue. And then I'm going to create a sphere. 
I've got my top view and cut this in half. So, like that. Almost. Okay. Like that, and now we have this view cut in half. And go to my side view, hold on V, and snap to that point right here. I'm not sure if I ever went over what this cool trick does, but if I scale this to where it needs to be, as you can see the edge goes to there, whoops, um, then I can just scale this in like that and it'll give me that effect that I'm wanting here. And I can also then push that into there and then see how that looks. Um, can scale this out. Let's see. About this looks good. Although it could be out a bit more maybe. Like what I mean is select whoops these edges and then bring those in. Yeah, okay, there we go. That way it'll be perfect. And what else will I do for that? Check here. Okay, the, the interface needs a different texture and I just realized this looks a little weird. Bring it in maybe. Mm, scale it up. And out. Maybe not out. There's just a lot of filling around really. That's just Maya. Okay, these need to be really pulled in more. Really bugging me with that. Okay. How about that? Mm, I feel like we extrude these too much. But, no going back now. Okay. I'm just gonna apply this, the last blend we made. Or actually, no. Never mind. This, of course, needs a new blend. So something like this, and then in the next episode we're going to create the logo, which is going to be pretty cool. And, okay, yeah, we're going to create this logo and put it right here. So thank you for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode where we'll do the logo.